Hello, today's devotional can be found in Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for the earth is for all the earth is mine. Okay. We can be a peculiar people, and it's not so bad to be a peculiar people. Because it makes us special. Our differences make us unique. Because Heavenly Father created us all to be different. Because life would be very boring and dull if we were all the same. And if we all made the same choices. And if we all didn't care for that which helps us to be individuals. The atonement helps us to be able to use our free agency individually and freely. And it helps us look beyond our imperfect selves and see that we are not just people, that we are children of God sent to earth to inhabit mortal bodies and have mortal experiences, that we are treasures of God, which he, allowed, which he sent to earth to learn, to grow, and to hopefully keep our value. But people sometimes don't make the right choices and they don't obey what the Lord asks them to do and they don't honor their covenants. And they, and they pull themselves away from the Lord. The, their value hasn't decreased in the eyes of the Lord. But their value decreases in their own eyes. And then they feel that, the, that they're not worthy to be in that. eyes of the Lord so they keep devaluing themselves so much that they can't feel the spirit and they can't listen to those who are feeling the spirit to try and help them now those who do obey are able to feel the spirit they're teachable They who can feel the Spirit can realize their temporal and eternal worth. See, because of the atonement, we have opportunity to make sacred covenants, promise, two-way promises with God at different levels in our lives. And these covenants not only affect us, but they affect others who may come into our lives as well. And if we obey the voice of the Lord, then we, then we realize our worth, then we understand our worth. You know, I really think people disobey just because they don't understand what they mean to Heavenly Father and what they should mean to themselves. But If we allow ourselves to be taught what we mean to Heavenly Father and what we should mean to ourselves, it might be easier for us to obey the voice of the Lord and to make and keep the sacred covenants. Because we are a peculiar treasure. And we come to earth at specific times in, it, in its history to learn to grow and to fulfill whatever specific purpose there is for us to fulfill. The Lord Jesus Christ has possession of the earth because he brought the, the earth out of darkness. He and Heavenly Father created the earth. And when the earth fell into darkness because of the fall, 
Heavenly Father put his plan of salvation into action and Jesus Christ carried it out. And the earth was brought out of the darkness of ignorance. And people were given the opportunity to obey and have it mean something. I mean, Adam and Eve were given the opportunity to obey and, I mean, despite the fall even, and they were promised that they would not be in the darkness of ignorance forever if they obeyed and stayed true to what the Lord asked of them, even after the fall. If we obey the Lord, we will be a peculiar treasure, and we will know of our infinite worth. And our covenants will be able to help us. Someday go to the place where our infinite worth means the most and where we can truly have peace from the demons of the world because in today's world it's very hard for people to feel like they're worth anything but we're of infinite worth. We're a peculiar treasure. And if we obey the voice of the Lord, we can not only find this out for ourselves, we can build upon it. But it's our choice, what we wish to do. But no, we are all children of God, and Christ died for us. So that we could become a peculiar treasure, one step at a time, and with his help. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.